What you want to do is apply a color cast or a color over overlay to a photo. I've just selected this stock photo and uh, we're going to turn it some colors. First of all, when you open a photo in your layers panel, if you look over, you'll see the background layer is locked and that means sometimes it's hard to work with. So what you want to do is right click on it, layer from background, click on that, and then just click OK. And that turns it into a regular layer. The next thing you want to do is turn it black and white. Now, go up here to Enhance, Light, or excuse me, Adjust Color, Adjust Hue and Saturation. The middle slider is the saturation slider. Click and drag the little triangle all the way to the left. And it'll turn your photo black and white. Okay. Now, this kind of black and white photo doesn't have a lot of contrast. It's kind of blah. Go back to the Enhance menu. Adjust Lighting. Levels. Now, Levels is a wonderful thing, but if you don't know how to use it, it looks confusing. Where it says Output Levels, you never or rarely touch that. But up here is the important part where it looks like it has a graph. You'll see three little triangles. A black triangle, a gray triangle in the middle, and then on the right side a white triangle. The white triangle is a white point, and if you move it to the left, it makes the picture brighter. If the black triangle is the black point, if you move it to the right, it makes the picture darker. The gray triangle in the middle is contrast. It's actually the mid-tone grays. You can add more contrast or take away contrast. So right now, she's a little dark, so we're going to add some light to her. And there we go. There's a lot of contrast in this picture anyway, so that's fine. Okay, just click OK. Now, uh, you have Elements 10, and I think in Elements 10 they put the icons in the layer panel which down here on my Elements 9 are at the bottom, it, these will be put up here at the top again. What you want to do is the leftmost one that looks like a stack of paper with the corner turned up, that's the new layer icon. Just click on that because we want a new layer to put our color in. Go all the way to the bottom of the toolbar, way over here. Click on the foreground color and pick your color. I like purple. We're going to pick up dark purple. I'm going to click OK, and you're going to go back to the toolbar and click on the Paint Bucket tool. Come over, just look over in layers, make sure your layer 1, your empty layer, is highlighted. And then just click on your image. There you go, it's purple. OK, two things you can do. You could try to lower the opacity of this layer and make it more see-through. But that kind of changes the color, it becomes more pink. So we don't like that. What you want to do is we're here where it says normal, and I bet you've always wondered what these are. Click the drop down. These are the blend modes. And you want to pick multiply. That applies it across the board. Now it's still kind of pinkish, but that's okay. That's how this color is. That's the one I happen to pick. Now, once again, if you want to lighten it up a little, you can change the opacity. Bring more light into it, make it more see-through. Or you can try to experiment with some of the other blend modes. Overlay gives you a very, very different look. Uh, hue hmm, makes it look normal. Hard light turns it kind of pink. Screen brightens it up. Okay, color burn adds reds and blues to it, which are the parts of purple. Linear burn gives her like a blue face and then pinkish purplish highlights. That's kind of cool. I like that one. That's linear burn. But you can just kind of play with any of these things. Color just adds the purple to the areas that are not white. But multiply is the one, okay, you're supposed to use. Now, what happens if this is too dark for me, if I want it less pink, I want to make it more blue in it and more purpley, I just can come back here and I can choose a different color. I can bring it down and make it more purple. And I can put that one in. That makes it more purple. 
The other thing you can do instead of messing with this color layer is click back on your original image that you turned black and white. Come back here to Enhance Lighting Levels. A little white triangle. You can add more light to the picture and even more contrast if you want to. You can change the mood of the picture that way. Okay. But there are a number of different things you can use to change your picture. The other thing, like I mentioned before, you can do, is let's say that color is too dark. So let's take this color, drag it down to the trash can, click the new layer icon, and I like the purple, but let's make it, well, that's too pink. There we go. Let's make it a little lighter. And then let's try our multiply. That's a little better, maybe, for seeing through. You know, we can do all these. We can lower the opacity a little bit, too, here. And there. And, you know, a lot of, of how you do it, I can show you what. But a lot of how much depends on the photos that you've chosen, the actual photos that you're doing. So, uh, you know, be prepared to experiment a little bit with each photo. And I hope this helps you.